Barack Obama's election as the first African-American president led to many to believe that Africa might become a more important focus of U.S. foreign policy. His impact on the continent falls short of some expectations. But Obama's eight years in office did begin to pivot U.S.-Africa policy a little farther away from the closer towards business. The BBC's Nancy Kashungira looks at the substance and the symbolism of the Obama presidency for Africa. At an artist's studio here in Nairobi, you can see the type of expression that Obama mania inspired when it swept across the continent back in 2008. Barack Obama's face was painted on walls and buses across the continent. Bars, restaurants, and even children were named after America's first black president in celebration of his victory. Obama went to seven countries in the four visits he made to Africa, more visits than any other U.S. president. Shoots a little bit smaller around. His administration established military outposts in more than 10 African countries. But it's America's intervention in Libya that attracted the most attention and criticism. Obama himself said that its aftermath was his biggest foreign policy regret. Obama believed Africa wanted trade, not aid, a point he emphasized in an interview with the BBC in 2015. People are not interested in being patronized and uh, being given aid. They are interested in building capacity. In 2013, Obama launched the Power Africa Initiative to try to double access to electricity in sub-Saharan Africa. But now, its future is in doubt. Incoming President Donald Trump tweeted his disapproval when the project started. On one of his first visits to Africa, President Obama said that it would be the young people who would bring about change on the continent. And now, at the end of his presidency, it is his engagement with the continent's youth that might have the longest impact. The Young African Leaders Initiative, launched by Obama in 2010, has seen more than 250,000 people join the network. Kenyan entrepreneur Eric Muthomi is part of this network. His business manufactures nutritious flowers made from locally sourced raw produce. He says the training he received from a U.S. institution as part of the Yali initiative has had tremendous impact. We've raised uh, over 100,000 U.S. Uh, purely from the support of Yali. And we've been able to grow the business uh, close to 10 times from when we joined TRL in 2014. Entrepreneurship, trade and investment were central to Obama's effort to expand U.S.-Africa policy beyond foreign assistance and counterterrorism. For Africa, the legacy of President Obama in many ways is not yet certain. A new administration will have to decide which parts of his policies to keep, and the long-term benefits that Barack Obama laid a foundation for could disappear with just one stroke. Nancy Kachungira, BBC News, Nairobi.